guys, we're here to do a quick Vidoc demonstration. You can see I have the iPad Vidoc here. Um, if you look, here is my Vidoc hardware. So this is my RTK Rover with the antenna. I'm gonna turn it on real quick so we can get started. Um, I have logged on to uh, the Pix4D Catch app. Then there, I'm gonna get logged into my in-trip. As soon as I'm logged in, it's gonna show I will get a fixed RTK and it looks like I am. Just to point out a few features on the screen right here. So obviously this is gonna tell me when I have a fixed RTK or if I end up floating. Here is my login information and then my live preview. So as we walk, you'll be able to see the screen or the point cloud being created. And then one quick new feature that will help, like we said before, that this is definitely um, something that complements the drone data is you're now able to use the Vidoc um, to collect ground control points for your drone data. It's super simple. We'll go into our project, we'll hit a new ground control point, we'll pick how long we want it to shoot. There will be a laser pointer that you can measure control points and there also will be um, a rod mount to mount this on as well. If I really wanted to, I would just place this on the ground over my GCP. I would say, let's record for 15 seconds and then we measure. And then it's as simple as keeping this green dot in the circle for that 15 seconds. And as soon as we are done counting down, it's going to save that GCP. So we'll be able to take a file from the Vidoc um, to put in with our drone data. And there it is, it's saved to our screen. Um, so when we want to export that, and then we could use that to bring into Pix4D to tie down our drone images. But back to the Vidoc. Um, so we're gonna do a quick scan. So this little button over here looks just like an iPhone camera taking screen. So I'm gonna press that and we're gonna get started. So you can see as I walk around um, my object of interest that it is um, doing the triangle meshes like we talked about to um, go over what it's capturing. And then in the lower left of the screen, you can also see that I am uh, getting a live preview of my scan. Good scanning techniques is to walk around your object um, and have that in center view at all times. So now everything looks great. I'm gonna go ahead and hit the stop button over here. So now you can see I have my live preview here of my sign. Um, as soon as I'm done with that, I'm just gonna upload it to the cloud. Um, and then after that is done uploading to the cloud, we can go inside and take measurements of our data.